Und jetzt sind wir schon wieder mit drei Leuten im Team. Das ist gut. Ähm, wo geht's denn hier lang? Wo muss ich hier lang? Ah, das sieht aus, als gäbe es da was. So, mal gucken, was da ist. Okay, hier sind wir falsch. Also wieder zurück. So, da geht's nicht lang. Das sieht aus wie eine Tür, Mann. Kann da aber nicht durch. Das scheint nur eine Wand zu sein. Eine Wand, die aussieht wie eine Tür. Eine Wandtür sozusagen. Oder eine Türwand. Je nachdem. So. Oh, hier geht's noch weiter. Ja, das sieht doch mal nach aus, als würde es hier weitergehen. So, ich gehe mal hier hoch. Ah, und jetzt? Ah, der Raum sieht aus, als wenn er richtig wäre. Rein da! Oh, das ist ein gutes Zeichen. Ein sehr gutes Zeichen. Mr. Chopin, thank you for your stellar performance. Allow me to introduce my fiancé. This is Serenade, and the little one with her is Minuet. Hello. I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. Hey, what's going on here, Salsa? They're just talking about boring stuff. I don't see food anywhere. Well, I just thought they were probably gonna eat all the good stuff before we could get here. There is something I wanted to tell all of you about the position Baroque is in right now. Count Waltz is using mineral powder to convert his population into soldiers who fear nothing, not even death, to create an unstoppable army. As soon as his preparations are complete, it is almost certain that he and his armies will invade Baroque. However, if Baroque were to preemptively challenge Forte, many innocent civilians would surely get caught up in the resulting all-out war. The suffering of innocence is one of the greatest tragedies of war. It's appalling. So, what are you gonna do now? Well, I thought that the solution to the problem would be to find a way to assassinate Count Waltz to avoid any other casualties. So I aided on Dantino. But you see, I am opposed to that plan. I believe assassination would be the equivalent of a declaration of war against Forte. And if we were to do that, would it not be the same kind of evil for which Count Waltz is responsible? History always repeats itself. Even if we managed to succeed in assassinating Count Waltz, another Count Waltz would appear, then another. The problem itself would still remain. If we throw all our support behind a band of rebels, I believe it will be Baroque that is disgraced in the end. I see. And you're correct. Looking back on history, mankind does indeed repeat the same mistakes, over and over again. Someone else with evil designs will surely appear to fill the void. If it's really as important as all that, how can people just forget about it? It's because the passage of time allows us to forget tragic and painful events. We let them go so that we're able to continue on with our lives. Like letters written in sand and then blown away by the wind, they're all forgotten. But there are some things we must never forget, no matter what. Tragic memories that we have to carve firmly in stone, so that the wind can never blow them away. I have a favor to ask. I understand that all of you are acquainted with Jazz? There is a message I would like you to pass on to him. It is this. Baroque can no longer provide you with any assistance. No matter how much of a tyrant Count Waltz may be, there is no way we can be absolutely certain that he will ever attack us. If we were to make a preemptive strike against him, it would be a classic example of man's suspicious nature leading him to war. Serenade, I know in my heart that everything you've said is correct. That's why I wanted... 
What is it, Captain? It's nothing. We must achieve true peace, not simply the appearance of it. But, because of the current situation with Forte, there is no way I can leave Baroque at the present time. Besides, if I were to be seen making contact with Andantino, that very thing alone could act as a trigger for war. Is there any way you could meet with Jazz and tell him for me that this struggle itself is the very thing that's leading the world into chaos? What do you mean exactly? You want us to inform Andantino that Baroque can no longer provide support for its actions? I know that it's selfish of me to ask this of you. Yes, you're right. As you say, it is rather selfish of you. Uh, Frederick? Up until now, you have been providing Andantino with support, is that correct? Denying them that support because your opinions have changed is rather irresponsible. That may be true, but you must understand. We have come to realize that the actions we have taken up to this point have been mistaken. Regardless of the criticism that we may face later, should we not correct those mistakes? I imagine it won't be difficult for the two of you to shake off any criticism. However, have you stopped to consider what this will do to Andantino, who will be cut off without any warning? Of course, it wasn't our intention for the people of Andantino, or Forte, to suffer. And yet, as the Prince of Baroque, I have a duty to put the welfare of my people above all else in any decision. Then, Prince Crescendo, do you admit that you are merely using Andantino to push forward the interests of Baroque? It is rather convenient that your ties to a rebel band from a neighboring country could so easily be severed once the need arose. That is not true. Prince Crescendo would never do anything like that. That's enough. Jazz and I have known each other since the days of our youth. We may have different social positions, but he has always been someone I could confide in and speak openly to. Really? I didn't know that. But then, why is Jazz living in Forte instead of here? Are you familiar with Mount Rock? It's a mountain rich in ore located on the Forte border. I know all about it. Thanks to all the digging Forte's been doing out there, Hagogo Forest is in big trouble. Jazz is originally from that area, and through its history, Forte has always maintained very strict control over that place. Oppressively strict. Many people have opposed their cruel treatment of the miners, as well as their utter disregard for the delicate ecology of the mountain. Unlike me, Jazz was always a passionate leader. Since we were young, he's always had a talent for him, making decisions and taking action. So, to be honest, when I heard he had taken part in a revolt of the Forte Miners, well, knowing him, I can't say it came as much of a surprise at all. So what happened in the revolt? Forte's forces showed the Miners no mercy. Much blood was spilled. By the time Baroque intervened, it was over. After that, Jazz never returned to Baroque. He founded Andantino to continue his fight against Forte. And that's why you agreed to cooperate with them. Even though I shared his feelings when we were younger, there was nothing I could do then to help his cause. But now, I owed it to him to offer my support, especially since we're both trying to accomplish the same goal. Believe me, even though I can no longer support Jazz directly, I haven't forsaken that bond of friendship. With Serenade's help, I'm hoping to find a peaceful means for both our countries to live happily side by side. Frederick, I believe Prince Crescendo. I think what he's trying to do makes a lot of sense. Yes. Now that you've explained it, I can also understand your point of view. We'll make certain to convey your feelings to Jazz. Great! Then we can get going! 
I bet Reto and the others are all looking for us anyway. If we can get back to Retardando somehow, I'm sure we can find Jazz and everyone else. All right. Then let's return to Retardando. If Allegretto and the others are all right, I expect they are on the way there as well. Hmm, I wonder if March is holding out okay. She's hopeless without me around. Okay, also wir zurück. Back the march. All right then, let's get moving. Come on, Beat, we're gonna leave you behind if you don't pick up the pace. Are you okay? Oh man, that hurt! I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Are you alright, miss? Are you hurt? What the heck? What's with the gigantic mirror? Oh, this? It's one of Baroque's royal treasures passed down through the generations. What in the world is going on? What is all this commotion about? Oh my, what have we here? What exactly were you planning on doing with this huge mirror? Oh, Princess Serenade! Uh, well, you see, um... This mirror was one of my grandfather's most precious possessions. It's called Lament. I requested that it be moved up to my chamber. I'm told my grandfather would often stand before this mirror to think. Pondering what the future might hold for our country. In his day, Baroque was surrounded by much stronger nations. The responsibility of protecting Baroque must have been an overwhelming burden. Prince Crescendo. Come on, don't tell me you don't know what that thing is. Mirrors are shiny things that show your reflection. Silly dog. Nothing's gonna come out of there no matter how much you bark. No! Minuet! She... she got flattened. Huh? What the? But she was... She disappeared. What could have happened? The blinding flash of light we saw. It can't be. Prince Crescendo, do you know something that could explain this? How could it be possible? Lament, der königliche Spiegel. Und damit herzlich willkommen im PS3-exklusiven Dungeon dieses Spiels, den wir zu sagt, nur auf der PS3-Version gab. Auf der Xbox-Version wurde der komplette Dungeon sowie die Zwisch Zwischensequenz eben mit dem Spiegel komplett rausgeschnitten. Ähm, beziehungsweise den gab es damals einfach nur nicht und das wurde halt dann für die PS3 noch extra dazu gecodet. Ähm, ich speichere jetzt hier erstmal ganz flott. Was heißt flott? In diesem Spiel kann man nicht flott speichern. Das geht, da dauert es immer ein bisschen. So. Hm. 
Ich finde, sie sieht ziemlich eigenartig aus. Na gut, wir sind in einem Spiegel. Wie sollte es in einem Spiegel schon aussehen? Oh, eine Truhe. Ein Sternplätzchen. Und ja, wir sind jetzt hier ganz alleine. Wir haben nur Polka im Team. Äh, ich finde mal eben die ähm, Heil-Items aus. Hier ist der ähm, Schirm nochmal. So. Ich würde sagen, wir machen uns hier mal auf, flott auf die Suche nach den anderen. Ich will mal den Kämpfen hier so ein bisschen aus dem Weg gehen, weil ja, wir haben nur Polka. Und Polka ist jetzt nicht gerade die stärkste auf der Brust. Beziehungsweise das aktivste Kämpferlein in unserem Team. Sie kann heilen. Das ist ihre Daseinsberechtigung. Wie ich so oft sagte. Ich glaube, ich glaube, hier kommen wir gar nicht anders durch. Da müssen wir, glaube ich, kämpfen, oder? Ja, sieht aus, als wenn wir da kämpfen müssen. Also. Ja, da kommt man wirklich nicht lang. Keine Chance. Just watch this. Naja, auch es sind zwei. Ich dachte gerade, es wäre nur der eine. Na gut, ich denke, da die Kämpfe darauf ausgelegt sind, dass man hier nur alleine kämpft mit Polka, hat das Spiel da hoffentlich darauf Rücksicht genommen. Zwei und... Autsch. Autsch. Oh, der Kampf kann nur Stunden äh, dauern. Bin ich. Nur ein paar Stunden. Ich finde, die sind vom Timing immer ein bisschen doof. Aber was soll's, wir können uns ja mit Polkammer noch heilen. Das ist gut. So, den hätten wir erledigt. Oh, wir sind wieder dran. Schön. Okay, es ist ja auch ein egal, wer so sonst dran sein, wenn ich viel, ne? So, noch mal kurz ein bisschen heilen. Heilen kann man sich immer. Wieder heilen, jetzt haben wir jetzt wieder volle KP, die er uns gleich abziehen wird. Aber er hängt auch schon. Oh, er ist tot. Toll, hätte ich das eher gewusst. So. Sehr, sehr schön. Dann schauen wir mal, wo es zwei weitergeht. Irgendwo müssen die anderen ja sein. Aber das werden wir jetzt erst im nächsten Part herausfinden und ich hoffe, ihr seid dann auch wieder mit dabei. Ich würde mich sehr darüber freuen, also bis zum nächsten Mal und bis dahin sage ich Ciao!